Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Jimmy Ruffin story part 3. Jimmy Ruffin's ever-changing music career started when he decided to relocate to London, England, later beating out the lowest common denominator, being Motown, and his indifference with the label. Now, although he did reside in the UK, Jimmy still recorded songs in the US on various labels, such as Tears of Joy on Atco, a subsidiary label for Atlantic Records in 1973. She cries, tears of joy. Baby, tell, me tell Me What You Want, a 1974 classic hit on Chess Records, along with his B-side, Do You Know Me, reviving his career in the U.S., charting number 42, R&B. Originally recorded on the Polydor imprint in England in 1973, the chess people heard the song as an import and located Jimmy to lease the master tape on their label. After two more issues, What You See Ain't Always What You Get on Class in 1975 and Falling In Love With You in 1977 on Epic Records, Falling, Falling In Love With You Ruffin made a comeback, hitting both sides of the Atlantic with a composition written by Robin Gibb of the Bee Gees entitled Hold On To My Love, hitting number 29 R&B in 1980. Jimmy teamed up with Maxine Nightingale and charted with Turn To Me in 1982 and another duet with Jackson Moore with I'm Gonna Love You Forever, issued as a 12-inch single in 1984. Over the years while residing in Britain, in 1984, he and British musicians, the Style Council, formed by Paul Weller, released Soul Deep in efforts to raise funds for the striking coal miners. Jimmy said he became involved with the project because in tribute to his father, who once was a coal miner before he became a minister. Ruffin also collaborated with Heaven 17 and issued the beautiful, soulful, the foolish thing to do back with my sensitivity in 1986 on Virgin Records. A year before that, Jimmy composed and released There'll Never Be Another You, back with the OJ's 1972 classic Backstabbers on EMI in 1985. In 1989, Jimmy recorded a duet with another legendary Motown artist, Brenda Holloway, entitled On the Rebound, featured on the Best of the Motor City, Volume 14, released on December 24th, 1997. Jimmy was a very busy man. And Jimmy Ruffin. Well, Jimmy Ruffin's legacy continued to be honored, where in 1998, NBC Television broadcasted a two-part four-hour miniseries based on the biographical story on The Temptations that aired two nights, Sunday, November 1st, and Monday, November 2nd. Actor Lamb and Rucker portrays Jimmy Ruffin in two scenes of part one in the movie. Jimmy Ruffin's legacy in the series was introduced to a new generation. A month before the TV series aired, Jimmy Ruffin hosted his own radio show on BBC Two Radio, Saturday, October 10th, 1998. Well, in the new millennium, Jimmy Ruffin returned back to the U.S. and resided his last years in Las Vegas. He sadly became ill in October of 2014 and was put into an intensive care unit in the Las Vegas hospital. Jimmy died a month later 
on Monday, November 17, 2014. He's buried at the Palm Memorial Park Northwest Cemetery in Las Vegas, Clark County, Nevada, in the Garden of the Eternal Section. He was 78 years old. You know, to describe the legacy of Jimmy Ruffin is simply through his gifted talents and being the interpreter and such in an expression of love and dedication to his artistry. In an interview with writer Bill Dahl from his classic Motown book, The Golden Years, Jimmy said, I think the people at Motown just didn't like me personally. I'm outspoken. I wasn't part of the clique. Well, as long as there is L-O-V-E love, that will be a true description of what us global music fans really feel about Jimmy Ruffin. Let's just be thankful that the music outlives the man. Well, until we meet again musically, I am the Chancellor of Soul. What becomes of the broken heart? Soul Facts, a show written, created, produced, and copyrighted by the Chancellor of Soul, Mike Boone, and it's a non-profit presentation.